Hi, this is Tim. We've been asking for questions on catchcriminals.com.au as to what you expect your CCTV system to be able to do and your, your biggest questions that you'd like answered. Now, I've had a question come in from Amar. In fact, he's given us three questions. The first one is clarity and resolution. Um, so I intend to answer that here. It's got a lot of facets to it, but we'll briefly give you an overview which we'll illus illustrate here. How we're going to demonstrate this is using some software called the IP Video Design Tool. I'll put a link to it in the notes below. But basically what it is, is a, a software that allows us to draw cameras and set their resolutions and put objects like people and cars and other things in the scene. But what we're interested in here are these different colours. So on a, I'm on a grid that shows a one metre by one metre grid, so we can work out how far from the camera we are out and how wide we are. Now anything that's in this red zone is considered identification quality. In the yellow zone, recognise quality. That means if we know the person, we'd recognise them, whereas identification is if we don't know the person, we should have enough detail to prove who they are. And in the green zone is we can just observe their behaviours and what they're doing. So we want to be working in these two zones for what a lot of people want. So we're going to work through that as our basis. So we're looking at a camera install height here of 2 metres high. And you'll see as I adjust that, that the uh, red definition, which is our ID quality, disappears if we go higher. That's because we can't see interfaces. And then if we adjust the resolution, sorry, the angle of view, we can extend that red section further out into the scene. And likewise, if we adjust the resolution, we also have a change in that. Saying that again, the two things that impact it the most are the resolution, the higher it is, the further we'll get identification quality, and the narrower the angle of view, the further we'll get identification quality. Now the best way to illustrate this is by putting some people into the scene. So we're going to drop some people at each of the edges of the identification, recognition and observe areas. And we'll make each of them a different height. So we can see there at recognition we have a lady, sorry, at identification. At recognition we'll stick in the man. And behind him we'll put the two metre tall man. Now he's just a little bit too tall for the back of the scene, so we're adjusting the scene height upward so we can just catch the top of him back there. So we can see the facial detail changes that's going through. Thanks Amar for your question. And remember if anyone else has a question that they really think should be included in the manual, please leave it here as a comment and we'll do our best to include it. Thanks very much.